in a power generation unit what are the main components what are the main equipments are there i will discuss in brief so let's start so inside a power generation unit the main source of power is the generator so there must be a generator one or more generators unit will be there and generator transformer so the generator will generate the power at certain voltage level maybe at 11 kV maybe at 22 kV voltage level it needs to be stepped off to up to that EHV level that means 132 kV level or 220 kV level or 400 kV level to evacuate the power towards the power grid so this generator transformer is required and this is the switch yard you can say outdoor substation or switch yard 400 kV 132 kV or 220 kV or 765 kV whatever may be and this is the this will be connected further towards the the grid so this is for the power evacuation so generator will generate the power after that it will be stepped off and it will be connected with the switch yard to evacuate the power to connect with the grid so this is the upstream requirement this is the upstream network how it works but how how the inside the auxiliary systems will be running inside a power plant and what will be the what will be the power supply arrangement just to understand this we need to provide the unit auxiliary transformers these unit auxiliary transformers will feed will supply the power to the auxiliary loads inside the power plant which are the unitized loads and this power will be tapped from the generator terminal itself or the connection in between that generator and generator transformer there will be a common tapping uh, generally this is IPVD isolated phase bus duct so the power supply will be tapped from there this is the HV side of UAT and it will be stepped down it will be stepped down to medium voltage switch gears suppose these are the unit switch boards and these are getting power from the unit auxiliary transformers and there will be coupler in between these two now these are the these are the unit arrangement these are the unit arrangements and the auxiliary power system distribution further downstream will be distributed but in this video i cannot cover all the downstream network so up to this medium voltage up to this let's say 11 kv or 6.6 .6 kv voltage level unit switch boards are there and further downstream will be derived from this power source only but this is the unitized loads these are for the unitized load loads uh, to run this particular unit let's say let's say uh, let's say you know that uh, esp if it is thermal power plant then esp will be there that cooling tower and that cooling tower this uh, cooling auxiliary cooling systems for this generator so these are the unitized loads but in a power system in a power plant in a power plant there must be some common common auxiliary loads which needs the common power supply so to feed that common power supply or the startup power for the um, power plant we need station transformer station transformer which will draw the power from from the grid from the grid 
through this switchyard and it will cater the load the and it will cater the power supply to the station switchboards which are connected with this station transformer it may be two winding transformer it may be three winding transformer depending on the requirement so this is the station switchboards and these will feed the supply power supply to the uh, to the auxiliary uh, common auxiliary systems in the power plant and this is the bus coupler in between these two switchboards and definitely there will be the bus changeover there will be the bus changeover automatic bus uh, first bus transfer so those abt or the abt panel will be there in between is in between unit switchboard and station switchboards as you can see in the diagram between unit switchboard and station switchboards there will be coupling and normally normally those breakers will be kept open and there are separate logic for the for the bus changeover so i will cover in the in a in a separate video how this bus changeover happens between uh, two unit switchboards or between two station switchboards or between unit and station switchboards how how and when it happens and the relevant schemes those are not covered in this video so just to conclude this is the 400 kv or 220 kv or 765 kv this is ehb system that means extra high voltage system where the power is being evacuated and the generation voltage which is hp high voltage let's say it is 11 kb let's say it is 22 kb if the generator uh, rated generator uh, rating is 600 megawatt or 660 megawatt the generation voltage let's say 22 kb if it is 300 megawatt the generation voltage uh, may be 15.7 kv these are some uh, there are some standard values depending on the manufacturers and this is the mb medium voltage medium voltage let's say 11 kb or 6.6 kb where from the auxiliary power supply the unit auxiliary power supply or the station auxiliary power supply will be will be delivered so these are the these are the uh, these are the main equipments inside a power plant and how it works and the concept of the unit power supply the the unit and station